Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Programming Knowledge. And in this video guys, we're going to learn how to use arrays inside our C program. So basically guys, we can declare variables to hold single element or single value inside our C program. So for example, like this. Age or int age. And then we could um, assign it to a value 5, for example, like this. So this particular variable will hold the value 5 or a single value 5 and then it's uh, going to assign to the variable age. Now what if you want to store like 50 um, series of values like there are um, 50 age that, what, uh, that we want to save. For example there are like 50 persons that we want to save the ages then uh, this particular declaration and statement will not suffice because we're going to like uh, declare it one by one. So for example, int age 2 and then 6 and then int age 3 equals 7 and int uh, age 4 equals like 10 and so on. So basically, guys, this is not a good programming practice to declare multiple variables or, yeah, multiple variables to hold a single set or single type of data. So that's why we need the capability of an array. So basically, guys, the array is a data structure in Z programming, which can store a fixed size uh, sequential collection of elements of the same data type. So in this case, guys, we're just, you know, collecting and saving um, the same data type of data, which is int. Now, what we can do here is we can define an array and then we could set the length. Say, for example, we want to save um, 50 um, ages, right? And then we could save the age into that particular array. So let me show you an example. So this is how you can create an array inside your C program. So basically the first um, thing is you have to specify the type of your uh, data that you want to save in that particular array and then the array name. So basically this is just like the uh, variable name. So you have to label your container and then of course you have to specify, uh, specify the type of data that you want to save in this particular array. And then you have to add the square brackets and this signifies that this particular variable is an array. And then inside uh, this particular square bracket, you can uh, declare the size or, you know, specify the size or how many um, values that this particular uh, variable could hold. Okay. So in a typical C program, you could do it like this. So for example, the type is in right and then you can say ages or age right so this is the array name and then this uh, square brackets and then you have to spe uh, specify the size so for example five so you want to collect five values or five age of five persons okay so again this is the type in you have to specify the type and then you have to specify the array name the, the variable name and then of course square brackets and then the size of your array or uh, basically the amount of values that this particular array could hold. So after this you can say equals and then you can specify the array or the elements of your array. So for example we could take all these values 5, 6, 7, and 10. So 5 6, 7, and 10. And so for example, because our array contains or should contain five elements, we could add another one here, for example, um, eight or something. Okay. So again, this is how you can create an array of um, values. So in is the data type. And then of course, we have the array name and then square brackets with the size 5 uh, for example your um, array should be 5 
and then equals, and then the uh, curly braces, open and close curly braces, and then the actual element value. For example, in this particular uh, statement, we have 5, 6, 7, 10, and 8. So that's how you can initialize an array in C program. Now, you can access this particular um, or this elements or these values by using what we call index. So in C programming or any other programming with um, um, arrays, you could access the values by using index. So th this index is zero based. Zero base. It means that it will start. It will start with zero. Okay. So meaning, uh, if you want to access the value five, so you uh, you have to use um, zero index. Okay. This will be zero, and then this will be one. This will be two. This will be 3, and this will be um, 4. So again, if you want to access or get the value of this particular element, you have to use the 0 uh, value of your index, and then 1 for the 6, 2 for 7, 3 for 10, and um, 4 for 8. So let me show you that, how that works. So for example, you want to display the value uh, 6. Okay, so all you have to do is use the printf statement and then um, double quotes and then percent d, the format specifier for our um, integer values, and then comma, of course, and then you could use the name of our um, uh, what do you call this array, so ages, and then you could um, specify the square bracket and then the index of the element that we want to use. So for example, 6. So we want to use the index 1 for that to be able to get the value of 6. So let's try this. Uh, build and run our program. So as you can see, the output is 6. As you can see here, 6. Right? Now if you want to get the value 10, you have to use the um, index 3 for that because, I, as I've said, the value is equivalent to the index 3 of our particular array. So, build and run a program and it should output the value 10 which sits on the index 3 of our array. So, that's how you can access the value from our array. Now, so for example, you want to change the value of this array, right? So we have here 5, 6, 7, 8, or 5, 6, 7, 10, and 8. And then if, we, if you want to change the value of, so for example, this one, 5, the first element, all you have to do is specify the index also. So ages, and then the index is here. So then it equals the value, for example, 11, um, CD column, that CD columns only goes back to the long. So, ages, so for example, we want to display this, what will be the um, value of our uh, index 0. So, we, we could test that by using the printf statement. And then, instead of 3, you could specify the value 0 or index 0 here. So, let's try this build and run. And as you can see here, instead of 5, the initial value of our uh, index 0, it returns 11 because we assign it or we modify it by using the element or index 0 equal to the uh, 11, which is, uh, that's why we are getting the 11 value here. Now, this is particularly useful, guys, or if you want to work with the array, um, one of the best structure or the best statement that you could use to iterate the array is by using the uh, for loops or loops inside our C program. So we could say this here, for example, for 
So we're gonna use the for loop statement here, and we can specify, for example, um, int index equals to zero. We want to start with zero because, as, as I've said, the index of our array is zero base. It will start with the zero number. Okay. So index equals zero, and then semicolon, and we're going to say here, uh, here index um less than the uh actual value of our array or i mean size of our array so five less than five so another semicolon and then index plus plus okay. and inside the for loop we could display the element of our array so we could use this printf statement and then we could uh, use the index variable here and then change this. We could say index equals percent %d, the format specifier. And then um, we could say equal to percent %d and then of course the uh, actual value of our uh, array index so in here we could specify the index okay so it should display the index current index and then it should display the actual value of that particular index so we could build and run our program um, let me add first the backslash n or new line um, state sequence new line and then it should display this particular output. So at index 0, we have the value 11. At index 1, we have the value 6, right? Index 0 is 11 because we already modified our array. Specifying the array or index 0 should be equal to 11. And then at index 1, equal to 6, right here. Uh, index 2 should be equal to 7, index 3 is 10, index 4 is 8. Okay, so that's how easy for us to access and change the value of our array, and that's how we can uh, define our multi, or I mean single um, dimension or one dimension array inside our C program. And in the next video, guys, we're going to talk about two dimensional and multi dimensional arrays inside our C program. So I think that's all there is for it guys for this tutorial. Um, if you have questions, please let, uh, let me know in the comment section below. So again guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.